In today's video, we're gonna talk about why the gravity stand is by far the most universal tool on the market for a DJ. You can mount TVs to them, you can mount speakers on top of them, you can mount projectors to them, you can even mount moving heads to them, and you can raise them eight feet in the air. Let's get into it. What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to show you guys everything there is to do with gravity stands and why I use them in our company for so many different applications. Let's get into it. So first off, I just unboxed two more brand new gravity stands and the bags for them and some new TV mounts that we're gonna get into in a second. But these are basically the brand new gravity stands and this is what you would get if you ordered gravity stands. Well, if you just ordered them by themselves, you're gonna get the pole, you're gonna get the base plate. The base plate does allow you to screw the pole into three different locations, depending on what your application may be. It allows for flexibility. And these ones are the white version. They also make a black version, which is back here. And these ones we've had for four years and are completely destroyed. And the reason why they're destroyed is because we never bought bags. If you're buying white ones, I highly recommend it. This is our other set of white ones that we just got earlier in the year. Actually, we bought them in December and these bags are amazing. And I'll show you more in a bit. With every gravity stand, you also get a few little nuts and bolts. So you get this adapter right here, which is meant to turn the gravity stand into a true speaker pole. So there's that with one of the bolts and you screw this into the top of the stand right there and now you have a speaker pole. And the reason for this cone shape is to allow for the speaker to not get stuck. Without it, these edges will actually grab onto the speaker and through vibration and stuff, it'll literally get stuck on the pole. So if you're gonna use it with speakers, definitely recommend putting this on it. In addition, you get this black little silicone ring, which I'll show you in a second, and you get a another bolt and you get a washer. So that way you can bolt other things that you might wanna to bolt to your top of your gravity stand. There's a variety of different things. Could be lights, could be mounts, could be brackets. There's a lot of possibilities with the gravity stands, which is why I love them. They're super universal to use for hella applications. Now, the silicone ring that I'm talking about right here, this is actually for the handle and it's so that you can customize your gravity stands however you wish. So right now they have a white one on it, but you literally can take this thing off. It's hard to do with one hand, but you can see it basically rolls off and then you can put the black one in there if you want or on their website, you can get a variety of different colors to basically customize your gravity stands. I believe that is a actually a newer feature or we don't even have ours anymore on these ones, but yeah, you can customize them with different colors to suit your liking. So let's take a closer look at the gravity stand. These things are built like tanks and I would be remiss if I didn't mention the other manufacturers that are making very similar type stands to this. I'm talking about Pro-X, I'm talking about Chave. No offense to either of those companies, those are great stands as well. Actually, I've heard the Chave ones are pretty much just as good as the gravity stands. I've heard the Pro-X ones are a little loose, but I've had gravity stands now for the last three, four, five years. Go look back on the channel. I don't remember when the first ever projector I had on it for a gig log, but literally this is my original gravity stand. It don't even have the three holes. And these things are built like tanks, as you can tell. I use and abuse these gravity stands and we didn't use any cases, any bags, and um, they're just built like tanks. It's solid steel construction. There is not an ounce of plastic that's gonna break on these things. Even the clips that hold on the pins, they're still on here. And I mean, like I said, we use and abuse these, but let's just look at it real quick. So I guess there is a little bit of plastic on the slip collar on the inside there, but that's the slip collar. It needs to be able to compress and have friction. But you have a solid metal pole right here, which goes up to eight feet in the air insane how high up you can get these things. You have a nice big grip handle that is super easy to be able to tighten it down, super easy to loosen. It's made out of, I think, a combination of plastic and rubber, but these things are beautiful. They're not gonna break on you. You have a nice pin, like I said, that can basically 
to be put at any one of these slots to make it work. And then it even has this rubber little gasket on here to hold your pin so that it's not bouncing and scratching all over the units. There is a gravity sticker on here, but this actually can be easily pulled off. And uh, I normally do that on my white ones, I remove it. But again, built like a tank all the way through solid steel construction, an awesome powder coat finish on them that's pretty much not gonna come off. I mean, look at this black one. These are chips and dents and scratches that we've had on them from, again, not using them in bags for years on end. Looking closer at the base plates here, again, all solid, awesome construction. Nice molded grippy handles here that are really nice to carry these around. All solid metal screw in points on the bottom of the gravity stand, even all metal feet. These are completely metal with a nice little felt bottom on them. Just built like rock solid tanks. Now, being an all solid steel construction, this is a 30 pound steel base plate on the bottom. And overall, you're looking at basically a 44 pound capacity is what they're saying for basically on top of here. I've definitely put heavier than that on these before, but that is what they recommend about a 44 pound. So again, we've already talked about, you can put a speaker on these stands easily, just like that. And voila, we have a speaker on a gravity stand and we can raise it eight feet in the air. Absolutely insane. You also can put a projector on it, which I've shown multiple videos and I'll link it down below. This is what we use for our monogram. So this is a projector monogram setup. Uh, we also use it to basically project all sorts of things all across the room. We have these awesome adapter plates on the bottom here. And there's a couple different places you can get these from. My guys over at Colorado Sound and Light, they hooked me up with the first one. I'll link them down below. You can also get them on projectorgram.com. They also sell gravity stands as well. But projectorgram.com is where I get all of my monograms made. And they also sell all the tools, even projectors that you need to get into projector monograms. Awesome team over there. If you guys ever want to get into monograms, projectors, reach out to them. But basically you have an adapter plate that hooks onto the projector. And then this basically will unscrew like so. It just unscrews right there. And then you have the actual mount itself. This thing just slides off and on the actual stand. So typically I will screw on the projector and then I will mount the whole entire thing on at once slide it onto the gravity stand, and now I can raise it eight feet in the air, adjust the projector, all the good stuff. So that's actually what we originally bought the gravity stands for. That's why I got black ones. That's why I also never bought cases because normally this is supposed to not be seen. The projector goes on top, shoots the monogram, hidden out of the way. Now, you know, we've also realized that you can put speakers on it so you can make clean setups like this if you're not using column arrays or something like that. Great option as well. But recently, I also found out that you can mount TVs to them. Gravity literally makes this TV mount and I just got two of them. And these things are also built like a tank. They're basically welded steel plates, steel cap, and they have all the outfittings that you need. You basically do a standard TV mount, slide it on, raise it up, and boom. You got a TV. So you can mount these to your TVs. These are typically best used for about a, I think they go up to a 70 inch TV. You can mount on these things, which is absolutely insane. For reference, this is the 60 inch Samsung TV that we use for our events. We've basically utilized it so that we can mount them um, in our office. But when we use TVs, which is kind of rare until recently, we also have a 65 inch. What we'll do if we need them for events, we'll basically just unscrew them from the wall, which is actually very easy to do. And then we'll screw on the gravity play adapters and use them that way. But we also have 85 inch TVs. Those unfortunately won't fit on these. That's where Trustin comes in. But for most of our events where we're using TVs, uh, we typically try to use the 60 inch TVs, 85 ones are just massive, but we're getting into more corporate AV audio stuff. So we're starting to use 85 inches as well. Probably a full video coming out on a corporate event soon showing our 85 inch TVs. The gravity stands, awesome to be able to utilize for 60 inch TVs. And I know if you guys are coming to Midwest at the end of April, I will be filming the whole thing at Midwest, but we're gonna be doing two TVs on gravity stands. So I'll be able to show you guys basically what that's like at Midwest for the nightlife. But the main reason why you probably clicked on this video is to find out how we are mounting moving heads to gravity stands and removing the need for any totems at our events. Remember when I remember when I said that if you use that adapter thing, it keeps the speaker from getting stuck? Well, it, it, it's stuck. Okay, we got it off. So if you're gonna use it with speakers, make sure you use that thing. Before I show you that adapter, I just forgot, I didn't even show you guys the bags, but again, best parts about gravity is everything 
is designed in Germany and they build it like a tank. And I believe everything also has a five year warranty. That's why I've been reading on the stuff. I mean, like I said, built like a tank, but the bags, highly recommend them after using two of them without bags, especially if you're getting white ones. Get these ones. These bags are so nice. They're nice and padded. The zippers are built like a tank, really good stitching on it. The base plate bags are also padded. And the, again, the zippers are amazing. Over here, we have them in the bags. So basically each base plate has its own bag. Look at that zipper. That is a beefy zipper on there. And then the top plates come in a dual bag. So this bag holds two of them for the poles. And you basically can unzip it with this nice leather stitched double zipper. And then this has a little Velcro and then voila. There are your two poles. So now let me show you guys how we are doing this with our movers. So now let me show you guys how we're doing this with our movers. Now, first off, the movers we're using, these are all both lighting fixtures. So we have both the both lighting MH150s and the Aurora 1950s will both work in this concept. I'm showing you guys the Aurora 1950s in this example. How we're making it happen is all moving heads have these clamp mounts on the bottom, which are these guys right here just this one white piece right here. Those clamp into the bottom of the moving head like so. So you just go through and you snap all those in. But the piece that's making it all work is this adapter right here. And this adapter happens to be the Pro-X adapter. There's again, a variety of different options. I happen to get the Pro-X adapters. Let me show you what one looks like without that. I literally just bought a crap load of these to make sure we have enough for all of our moving heads because we are switching completely to gravity stands this year. So this is what the adapter looks like. It's a mounting plate on the top and on the bottom, you have basically a slip on. And then on the bottom, you have a slip on pole mount to be able to utilize on top of speaker stands or gravity stands. So this adapter just slides right on top of the gravity stand and then you can lock it down with your tightening screw right here so that it ain't going anywhere and it's not gonna turn or anything like that. But like I said, we mount the clamps to it and we do that with bolts. So we actually had to go to the hardware store and get these bolts right here. I actually don't know what bolts we actually used on these. We probably should get a washer to be honest, but basically we've got a couple bolts with wing nuts, locking washers. I don't actually know why the locking washer is on that side, but you get the point. Basically you bolt your adapters that hook into the movers onto the Pro-X adapter, and then you're able to mount your mover on top of the gravity stand. So let me get one fully assembled and put up on there. Boom. So now we have the mover mounted on top of the gravity stand, and now we can raise it up to get it above people's heads. Just like that, we got a moving head in the air, and all we had to do was use a base plate and a pole and a quick adapter. Now, I will show you guys what this moving head looks like when it's moving around because there is a little bit of a wobble. It is a little bit of a wobble up there. As you can see, that's about what it's gonna be like when I start it, but this thing is rock solid. When I tell you, I can literally shake this thing this much and it's not gonna fall over on you. You can bump into this thing as much as you want. It actually would hurt you to bump into this pole because you have a 30 pound steel base plate holding it down there. This is a good point to bring up what you could use to mount a moving head in the air and why we're switching to this. So first off, you could use trussing. What's the problem with trussing? It's big, it's bulky, takes up a lot of room. Well, you can use collapsible totems, whether it's the individual poles that they make in the Global Trust series or something like the Rockville collapsible totems, which I made a complete video on back in the day when they first came out. That is what we've been using for the longest time is collapsible Rockville totems at our events. The problem is they take a lot of time to assemble. You have one, two, three, four, you got eight individual screws to screw together. You have a base plate you have to assemble. And honestly, it's just really tedious to put together. They're, they're nice for what they are. The Rockville Totems are nice because they're collapsible and you can easily transport them places. But the problem is they take forever to put together. They take forever to take them apart. This is why I'm switching to gravity stands because all I gotta do is bring a base plate and a pole, screw the pole into the base plate, plop the mover on top, and we're off to the races. This will speed up our mover setup by like 10X. I mean, literally 10X and it's so nice. The other thing I like is we no longer have to bring an uplight for the totem because in our company, we sell uplighting separate from what we call here is an intelligent mover. So we sell two intelligent mover packages or we sell 16 uplights around the room. But the little known thing was if a client got just intelligent lighting and no uplights, well, we 
typically would grab four up lights just to make sure we could up light the totems. Now, we don't have to worry about that. We just bring the two movers, we bring these, good to go. And personally, I think this looks cleaner. So now let me grab some power cables and I'll plug these in and show you how they work. So. Again, I have the mover up there. We're not all the way to eight feet. This could go higher, and I don't recommend putting it all the way up because I don't know if you can tell, it does have a wiggle to it, but it's not that noticeable. Let's see if I can hold still. You can see it kind of bobbing back and forth there, but actually it's less than when I was showing you guys in my example. The moving head, yes, will move back and forth on the pole, but it's not crazy and honestly if you don't like that you can lower it down a little bit more we're currently up at around seven feet in the air the top of that is probably about six seven and a half feet in the air again you could go higher we're one notch short of the highest setting but you can also go lower but man does that look cool i mean if we look across over to the totems there we're actually a little bit higher than what a standard totem would be the bottom ones are totems the top ones are 10 footers so that right there is what it's like to basically use your moving head on top of a gravity stand. Yes, it does sway. Yes, it does move around versus truss is not gonna move at all, but it's so much faster to set up in comparison to the Rockville collapsible totems that we have over here. And that right there showcases all the different usage that you can do with the gravity stands. You can use them as a mover. You can use them as stands for your moving heads. You can use them with projectors. You can use them with TVs, or you can even use them with speakers. So versatile and so nice to use. And like I said, that's the main reason why I have got rid of our Rockville totems. If you guys want Rockville totems, they're actually for sale. We're selling all the ones we have. But with the exception of needing to mount big TVs, I am getting rid of truss all together this season for all my DJs. We're not using totems whatsoever this year and I'm super excited for that. It's gonna take up way less room in the trailer, way less room when it comes to loading in. Even compared to trussing, these set up way faster because trussing, we have to put four pins in the bottom. We have to slide a scrim over top of it. Now we just bring in the base plates just like this, take them out of the bags, screw in the poles, we're off to the races. And like I said, it'll also support the spot mover. I didn't mention that, but the MH150 spots, we also put them on top of these. We actually use that at my wedding. So I'll put some clips in right here from my wedding, showcasing them as well. So you can interchange between moving head fixtures. These right here are the MH150 spots. And I can also point out that the the adapters are the same. If you wanted to use both the spots and the wash movers and interchange them, you can because the adapters work with both. So these exact mounts are the same for both the spots and for the wash movers. So you only need to get two of these unless you wanted to use up to four at one time. That's another thing to point out. You can easily make tiers with these because of the variation in height with the gravity stand. So if you wanted to have some down low, up high, in the middle, you can easily do that with the gravity stand versus having to make sure you get specific lengths of trussing or adjusting the Rockville totems, which we already talked about, take forever to set up. Super cool. So to wrap up my jargon, the gravity stands are amazing and they are such a key universal tool that you can utilize in your DJ company to mount everything from TVs, speakers, projectors, and even moving heads. It's super nice. And, and best of all, the setup time is as quick as possible. You plop down the 30 pound base plate, you screw in the pole, and you plop whatever it is you're putting on top of them, and you're off to the races. What could be more universal, more fast, more easy to set up than a gravity stand? And like I said, there's other ones on the market, but personally, gravity stands are the ones for me. They're built like a tank. Even their bags are built like a tank, and it's what we use in our company. So I cannot give a better review or a bigger stamp of approval than to say that you guys should pick up some gravity stands. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll link everything down below. They might be hard to come by, honestly. They normally are hard to come by. Sometimes they're on Amazon, sometimes they're not. Uh, shout out to my boys at Canal Sound and Light. They are who I use to basically get all of mine. They are a certified Adam Hall dealer, which is where these are all from. So if you guys would like some, uh, hit up Jeff at Canal Sound and Light. I'll link them down below. But if you guys just search for Gravity Stand, just about all the major retailers are selling them. It just comes down to who has them in stock and who has them available for sale. Again, I'll link everything down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did at this point in the video, put hashtag squad in the comments down below. Are you guys also using the gravity stands? Let me know. I'll link everything down below. Check them out. Keep the record spinning, guys. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys want to see, but it'll probably be a gig vlog actually utilizing some of these things right here. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. Keep the record spinning though, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.